Hey everybody, back again here with a review for the postcard killings. I just watched this movie, well I should say just watched, watched this movie, it's probably been three or four days, this is just the first time I've had a chance to sit down, done a lot of stuff going on, uh, so yeah, uh, let's just get right into it. So it uh, stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Famke Jansen, is that how you pronounce her name? Uh, and there's a ton of other people, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce half their names. But, um, yeah, so I went into this, I was kind of just looking for a movie to watch. I was like, you know what, I haven't just sat down and picked a random movie in a while. So I uh, was just going through my streaming platforms I have, and I was going through Hulu, and I seen it on Hulu, I'm like, alright, let's give this a shot. And I, I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan, with everything I've seen him in, he's great. Um, and this is another one, uh, he is definitely the best part of this movie, I would say. Um, he's great in it. Um, I actually think there's... Nobody in it is bad. There's a few performances that I think are all right or could have been better. But generally, so, and also I'm going to try not to spoil anything because this is a movie that you can definitely spoil. So I might not be talking about certain actors or plot points just because of that. And also, this isn't scripted, so I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. Uh, so yeah, it's about uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, whose daughter um, gets murdered by... Uh, the killer obviously but um and then it's basically just him uh because he's a cop from a detective sorry from new york i think she, i think she i could have some of these locations wrong because there's a lot of different locations in this movie but um i believe he comes from new york and i think he he travels to london where she was murdered i believe it's london um anyways he travels to europe to uh investigate or just basically see what happened to his daughter investigate uh well actually she's also with her husband, new new husband, I'm pretty sure they just had their honeymoon, and they uh, went to Europe for their honeymoon kind of thing, um, so yeah, and then they get murdered, uh, and there's clearly something more than just a natural murder, it's clearly some kind of psychopath or something with the way their murder is laid out, and the way they find them, etc., which uh, isn't too spoilery, you find all this out within the first, like, 10-15 minutes of the movie. Um, but as far as the rest of the plot, I'm not really going to try to delve too much into that, because like I said, there is a few twists and turns, I'm not, I don't want to give anything away, it's kind of hard to talk about this without doing that. Basically, the movie is about him trying to figure out who the murderer is. And from there, if he meets, you know, he talks to some detectives from, there's a detective I really like, I think it's the, f uh, I'm not sure how early he comes into the movie. But yeah, there's a detective I really like. Um, I forgot his name, though. <laughs> uh, that he kind of befriends along the way. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to give too much away. So I'm going to kind of... pretty much all I'm going to say about the plot, really. Um, but yeah, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is, I think, fantastic in this movie. There's one scene where he breaks down, like, mid-scene, out of nowhere. And it, I just thought that was that was so good. And there's just a lot of... Um, the directing is... I didn't mention it. It's directed by... Uh, I got the, the Wikipedia page up here. Dan Danis Tanava. Tanovic? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, which apparently he won an Oscar. I've never seen any any of his other work. Um, the directing felt very like 90s like mystery suspense thriller kind of movie. Uh, as as well as the uh, the score. And I mean that in a good way. Um, I feel like that could have been taken maybe in a bad way. I, th I really love the directing and I really love the score. I think the score is also really good in this movie. Maybe it could have had a little bit more flourish but overall I really like that. Um, I used to watch a lot of those kind of movies growing up, so it might just be my nostalgia for that kind of movie, that kind of score, but Philly, it also felt modern, too. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, the murders, obviously, uh, so, slight spoilers I might go into from here. My, I like the movie. Um, could have been a little bit better, but in general, I liked it. I will go into more depth a little bit right now. I'm going to get slight spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything major, though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, where was it? Okay, so, yeah, so then more murders start to happen, and it's kind of him going in different locations around Europe, so it's kind of him going from location to location, I think it's like London, Germany, uh, Switzerland maybe, I'm not sure, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of following him, trying to figure out who's doing these killings, what's going on, and they leave a postcard at each crime scene, or not, they don't leave it at each crime, they send it to a reporter in the general area, um, yeah, and then there's some kind of, like, mystery around that. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I can't really talk too much about the plot, so I don't want to, can't really go too much more into that without spoiling major stuff. So, yeah, uh, Famke Jansen, I haven't really talked about her. 
she's Jeffrey D. Morgan's uh, ex-wife who's back in the States. Well, she visits him a little bit in London, but she's most of the movie she's back in the States. Um, and she's kind of figuring out stuff on her end. They're talking back and forth on the phone. I like the relationship. It seems very, seems pretty natural. Um, her performance is good. Well, it wasn't outstanding, but it was good. Um, she, like, I don't know how to say this. Like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but like, I feel like her face, I don't know if she got work done. It was a little distracting. If that's just her face, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it feels like maybe she got some work done, something in the face area, I don't know. But, um, yeah, anyways, I really did enjoy it. Like, that's the thing about this movie is, because I looked up a lot of the reviews, a lot of people saying it's like terrible, not good. Um, I only really have good things to say about it, but at the end of the movie, I wasn't like overwhelmingly positive about how much I enjoyed it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't really pick out anything that I thought was wrong with it or, like, any big negatives, but I also am not, like, overwhelmed with, oh, that was that was a great movie, that was amazing. I was like, yeah, that was pretty good. So, with that being said, um, I don't know if, uh, okay, yeah, so, that's, pre that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the plot and all that, um, which I feel like I've said that like five times. So, yeah, I'm trying not to ramble, um, because I want to start doing more movie reviews, but I feel like I ramble too much, um... Because I don't, I don't like reading off a script for a review. It just seems weird to me. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see me do more reviews, let me know. Uh, just know there will be a lot of rambling. Um, I'll try to keep it to a minimum like I did in this review. But yeah, like I'm, trying to, like I'm just trying to think of something I can say that's negative, but I can't really think of anything like too negative about the movie. Like it seemed, seemed good to me. Some of the... Uh, yeah, because some of this... Okay, I have, like, one or two slight negatives, but it's revealed with some plot stuff later on, so I can't really say any of that. But, yeah, so, like, uh, I don't really like giving ratings, but if I had to rate it... Well, I, I did rate it on my Letterboxd, um, and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. So that's what I'll be going with, a 3.5 out of 5. Maybe I'll try to figure out how to put some graphic up here. I think I did it in my last review. Or did I even upload that review? I don't even know if I uploaded that review. Anyways, I'm rambling here again. Sorry, I always ramble. I should call this like rambling reviews, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, because I think it's, I think it's probably a three star movie without Jeffrey Dean Morgan. But Jeffrey Dean Morgan is so good that he just elevates it to a three and a half because he's so like his performance. Everything I've seen him in, he's just such a good actor. Uh, which I feel like a lot of movies are kind of like that with good actors. Like when they're just in okay movies, you enjoy it a lot more just because they're in it. And he just happens to be one of my favorite actors. I don't know how. I know there's. I know he has a lot of fans, but I feel like he's still not like completely mainstream yet. Um, he also doesn't really do a lot of movies, so that's probably why. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it there. Really enjoyed it. Well, you know, really enjoyed it. Three and a half out of five. It's not like one of my favorite movies, but solid movie. I feel like it's definitely better than. And uh, the rating it has on IMDb. I don't even remember what it has. And like Rotten Tomatoes and all that. I think it's definitely better than that. But uh, obviously it's all opinion. You know, you, you don't have to like the movie. But if you did or didn't like the movie, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can have a little bit of a discussion. And uh, yeah, I know it's... Uh, oh, I didn't mention it. It's also based on a book, which I don't, I've never read the book. Don't really know much about it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.